Hello, and in this demo, I'm going to show you a little bit about what we mean by column layouts. We talked a little bit about grid layouts, but we also want to talk about how we can do layouts based off the columns that we have. In a lot of magazine articles and newspaper articles, this is how they do their layouts, based off of how many columns the article is to be, or based off of its paper size. Some publications, depending on the size of paper that they print on, will have multiple columns. Some will have two, some may have three, some may even have four. Anything more than this and the text risks getting really, really small and unable to be read. We can also do layouts based off of the columns. So for example, based off of the columns that I have, I can decide where my headline is going to go, but I want to pay attention to where the image is going to go and how much it encroaches in the text. Remember, the real point of graphic design is that we're communicating a message and we have to make sure that the message can be read clearly and easily and quickly. This form of a text, you'll see that when we're reading this is a really, really tiny column and not what we would normally read in a magazine or an article. We would want them all to be fairly uniform. So that means when I'm laying out an image in, com in combination with text, I want to be conscious of that the image is complementary to the story, not in just its look, but that the story can be read easily. So I may adjust this image's size so that it shows more of my story in terms of the column. And see how I've stopped the image so that it stops at the gutter of the column. And I can then move my image over to however I want it to be. so that it's now becomes complementary to the layout and we can read the story easily. I can also do this with text wraps as well. Going back to column layouts is that we want to make sure that when we're laying out our image, again, that it's not creating awkward columns. You want to try and keep things when you're laying them out and using columns as a measurement to single column or double column or tri in this case triple column that it can cover the whole column. Avoid covering half of a column or a quarter of a column, keep your column layouts to even with your column sizes and widths. So your layouts when you're using columns are either going to be three columns, two columns, or one column in layout. Do not do column layouts of half columns or quarter columns or three-quarters columns. Always keep it even to the amount of columns that you have on a page. And this is what we mean by column layout. 